So momolotinib, as you know, is another JAK1 and 2 inhibitor, but it also targets ACVR1 and the hepcidin pathway. So um, this drug has um, been tested in three phase three studies, Simplify 1 compared to ruxolitinib, Simplify 2 after ruxolitinib, but many of the control arm patients continued on that drug. And then most recently, the Momentum study where um, Momolotinib was compared in patients who had had a JAK inhibitor who were anemic and could have a platelet count down to 25 compared to Danosol and the results from that study were presented at ASCO and EHA in 2022 and a further six months of data was presented here. So actually there are a series of abstracts regarding uh, momolotinib at this study. So the updated safety analysis was based across all of those studies we've just talked about and that showed good dose intensity across the whole spectrum of the myelofibrosis um, disease area that we didn't see any new side effects and in particular we didn't see a signal for opportunistic infections or cancers. Um, also presented at the, this study, at this meeting, for this study was, um, and those, those studies as well, because many of the patients crossed over from, from ruxolitinib to receive momolotinib straight away, we could show some data for how you transition between the two um, uh, treatments, which is important clinically and practically in real life practice. So a practical message is you can move straight from ruxolitinib straight to momolotinib, and you can move from Damasol, which we did in the Momentum study, straight to ruxolitinib, and the patients then have straight, not from Damasol, straight to momolotinib. And the patients have ongoing benefits in terms of spleen symptoms, and they don't seem to suffer with withdrawal symptoms, which is important. And then um, also we presented the um, extra six months of data showing durable responses, etc. And again, that the patients switching from Danazol actually converted to be responders. Interestingly and very importantly, in that analysis, the um, attainment of transfusion independence was associated with a survival benefit. So that's a really important thing with that drug. Not only does it reduce the burden of anemia, but possibly also survival benefits correlated with that. It also correlates to a lesser extent with those patients who need less transfusions, but don't quite become completely independent of them. So that's um, really important, more comprehensive data, if you like, on momolotinib as it is about to become available in the wider setting.